The Inspector General of Police, Usman al Baba, has ordered the deployment of watertight security arrangements to cover all schools, hospitals, health workers and critical natural infrastructure around the country. In a statement signed by the First Public Relations Officer, Force Headquarters Abuja, CSP Muiwa Adijobi said that the IGP has equally ordered regular patrols, stop and search, raids and show of force by tactical commanders to clamp down on crime. The IGP also tasked strategic police managers at various levels to prioritize the use of intelligence gathering networks and take the fight against crime to the doorpost of suspected criminal elements. However, he warned the men of the Nigeria police to be civil, professional and humane in the discharge of their duties. And well, the Inspector General of Police is burying his fangs descending in what some people term harshly on police officers found guilty of misconduct. Now, in recent times, errant officers have been dismissed for extortion, assault, and most recently, searching through commuters' phones against the IGP's directive. Now, while some Nigerians are applauding these actions, others are of the opinion that dismissal for such misconducts is rather somewhat harsh. We'll be having a phone conversation with a legal practitioner, Abayomi Alagbada, on the News at 10. Hello, and thanks for joining us on the News at 10. Good evening to you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Now, the Inspector General of Police seemed determined to match his words with action to sanitize the institution. What's your reaction to this? Well, I, I, I must give credit. From where I stand, I give credit to the Inspector General of Police. This is um, a, a step in the right direction, if you ask me. Um, the police is uh, supposed to be law enforcement, a law enforcement agency. And uh, if they are the if they are law enforcement agency and uh, law enforcement agency, it stands to reason that they also should be law abiding. What I have seen in recent days um, regarding the activities of the police, how they deal with regular Nigerians have been extremely, extremely disheartening. So if, if the IG is uh, taking this um, present step in, in, in dealing with these bad eggs amongst them, I think we should give him some kind of credit. I applaud the decision and I support it totally. Is this enough to restore public confidence in the police? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I, I believe that the police, the police is supposed to be an extremely professional um, profession. Professional in the sense that they, they work or they act by the law, by the books, as it were. So if we have seen what we have seen in the past, don't, don't forget that it was one of the reasons why we had the NSAP protest. Don't forget that it was also one of the reasons why youth have decided to, to blame the government because you find all kinds of activities coming from. Don't forget also the issue of the end, um, um, the fact that was abandoned at some point. So if, if from what we are, where we are coming it's from... It's low, I can't hear him. If from where we are coming from, we now have an IG who is now taking the right steps in the right direction, I think Nigerians should support it. So it will, it will restore confidence, I must say. Right. Now, now, while some people are applauding the IGP for this absolutely awesome move, some other people are saying this is pretty harsh on the officers. Um, probably even the excuse that it's the first time they're doing such a thing. What side of the divide do you belong to? Do you think this is too harsh on them? Or it's just right on time? Well, that, that, there's always two sides, sides to, the, to a coin. Some people will applaud, some will disagree. Like I mentioned from the word go, I applaud it, I support it. It's the, it's the right step in the right direction, and I think the IG should keep it up. Is there any remedy for you know, some of these erring officials that have already been affected? Well, this is, this is supposed to be a deterrent. It's supposed to be a deterrent to other officers who have the same tendency. You know, you have, 
it's not just the police. Every human endeavor, they will always have the good and the bad. Now, if the IG is taking these steps in reading the police of the bad officers amongst them, it will serve as a deterrent to other people who have the same tendency. Because if, if you have the same tendency to do that kind of stuff, and you know that the IG that we have now is, is not, um, has zero tolerance for such an attitude, I'm sure it will go a long way in, in making them have a rethink so that they can, be, they can be professional and they can do their job professionally. All right. Thank you so much for giving us your perspective on how the police is trying as much as possible to cleanse the image of the, you know, of the force and renew it as well. But let's switch sides just a bit to the legal side of life. A legal practitioner in Nihebehe, Effion, will be spending his third week in prison for contempt on the order of the chief judge of the Akwebom State. I wonder what your reaction is to that. Well, it's an unfortunate um, situation. Um, I, I wasn't in court um, to know what went on in court between my learned friend and the learned uh, justice of the High Court of Akwaibo. Um The truth of the matter is I, I don't have any first-hand information as to what went on there. But for whatever it is worth, it is unfortunate. Um, a, a lawyer is not supposed to be incarcerated on account of um, on account of uh, misbehavior or, or being um, rude to, to a sitting judge. I have heard a few senior counsel speak about him being very rude and all of that. I've also had the other argument that the, the, my lord, uh, uh, the Honorable Justice, was um, a big power drunk in, in the decision she took. But for whatever it is worth, it is not, it's not good for the judiciary, it's not good for the bar, and um, I, I, I hope that... Um, the MDA and the, and the NJC will do something about it because this is extremely, extremely unfortunate. This is the only place that the common man feel they can get justice. And if the, a place you call a temple of justice is being desecrated or is being treated with impunity, every lawyer should be worried. I am worried about it and I'm not happy about um, the situation that uh, my learned friend in Avon has. Uh, has uh, found himself today. As a legal practitioner that you are, I, I, I just intimate us with some of the procedures um, that should be taken for trying a lawyer or anyone at all um, for contempt of court. Well, well if you say uh, the lawyer is in contempt of court, my, my knowledge of the law, um, law as I know it, if in a lawyer, there are two types of contempt. It's either contempt in fashi courier or contempt as fashi courier. In fashi courier means a contempt right in the face of the court. There are other contempt you can conduct outside of the court. For instance, there is an order of court asking you to do a particular thing, and you and you, you fail to do so. That is a contempt as fashi courier. In other words, outside of the court. But what I think my learned friend has done here is contempt in fashi courier. But the procedure, as I know it, is that if a, if anybody not just the council. If anybody is in contempt of a court, that same court does not have the jurisdiction to try or decide the fate of that contempt. No, the contempt no will have to be the contempt issue should have should have to be decided by another judge. But unfortunately, I mean, I don't know what. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't know what went on in this situation. Um, it must have been extremely bad for my lord to sentence my learned friend with the one, month, one month imprisonment that is now serving. But if, if the law were to be strictly followed, it should have been another judge listening to him for purposes of fear hearing. Absolutely. It's, it's, it is a developing story, and we'll bring updates uh, on the issue as it unravels. So thank you so much, uh, legal practitioner Abayomi Alagbara, for joining us on the News at 10. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for having me.